I've always kind of had like a, uh, I don't know, flair or like leaned more towards the uh, taboo and mm-hmm. the dark stories and stuff that uh, that basically Pure Taboo and Miss X does. And um, I, I love those kinds of stories. And I've written even a few of my own that I've like pitched to like pitched to Gamma and they're like, yeah, we can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> was it like too much? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was too much. It was, um, uh, it was, uh, d- there was a lot of things that they were like, well, this can't happen and this can't happen. And I was like, okay, I'll water it down a little bit and take out this. And then they were like, no, it can't happen at all. And I was like, <laughs> well, then I can't do the story. Yeah. <laughs> which, yeah. Their which, legal team was probably like, and, and Gamma pushes the envelope with a lot of stuff. So like if they couldn't produce what you wrote, you probably wrote some pretty it interesting was, stuff. Yeah. I, I tried to make it pretty tame, but it was, uh, it was something that um, they were like, they were like, we love the idea, but we can't. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I get it. I understand. I, uh, I'll save it yeah. for another day when I can put it out and put everything I want to in there. But, um, but yeah, I do like writing stuff about like, uh, like the taboo stuff. And I like writing about like people getting, um, revenge on others cause they've been slighted or they've been, uh, or they like, I don't know, they, their mom, uh, like, passed away at a college party one day so she goes back and gets revenge on like the girl that was with her or something and it's uh it's just interesting to me um those plots and I feel like uh I watch like a lot of um uh like the um CSIs and the minds and stuff and I've always like loved those shows and Mm -hmm. the uh so yeah I just love doing the taboo stuff I think it's interesting and I know that there's like some people who are just like, I don't want to see a girl cry or anything like right before she's about to have sex, which like, that's not all my stories. Like right. not everyone's crying, but that's um, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but it's, uh, but it's, um, there. I mean, that kind of heightened emotion mixed with passion is, is very, you know, intense yeah. and can be really hot. You yeah. know, I mean, and- everybody knows like, you know, sex, makeup, is the hottest sex. why because it's you know sex mixed with passion and passion can go to extremes and a lot of times there's all kinds of like confusing emotions mixed in anger and jealousy and yeah all that kind of stuff yeah so I um that's why I'm I try to throw like some curveballs in there now and again but I just think to me that's the kind of uh that's the kind of like genre that I'm interested in and I always lean towards and stuff even like in um like mainstream and so I that's what I want to see yeah (laughs) so I I'm really glad that um that Missa and and then her girl girl site all her love they give me like the uh create like creative control to write the stories and stuff and get to do the kinds of things that I want. And then every now and again, she'll be like, Hey, uh, we need to do a, um, like a stepmom stepson scene. Right. Because so she, uh, because everybody does. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because everyone loves those. And, yeah. and they, and she's like, yeah, I, I know the, uh, like the fun, like creative ones that don't fit into any kind of, uh, like fetish or niche or whatever mm-hmm. are always like the, the ones to do and the fun ones and, the yeah. ones that she, like I want to do, but she's like I always say the uh, stepmom stepson stories pay for those to yeah. happen. Yeah, so I mean it's it's something that people are searching for, and it's something that sells. So it's like you know, in the end, you're a business. Mm-hmm. So you gotta you gotta cater to what sells. Yeah, and I'm and I'm glad that I uh, that she pre- presents me with those kinds of uh, topics, and then like basically. Um, it was like, okay, just stepmom, stepson, and then I'll send her, like, I'll come up with a few, and I'll send her, like, three, like, drafts of mm-hmm. something, and be like, okay, here are the bones, basically, so mm-hmm. which one do you, like, really want to do, and then I'll expand on it, add dialogue and mm-hmm. everything, 
And uh, yeah, it's it's um, good and I like it because it's challenging and I never would have written um, just regular stepmom, stepson scenes mm-hmm. and like just for my enjoyment, you know, mm-hmm. but um, now that I'm that I like have to do those every now and again, it challenges me. So yeah. helps me write like certain stuff and go around things. So yeah. Yeah. They, Gives you like an outline that you have to follow. Yeah. Yeah. Which I love. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.